It's Emily's birthday and Kurt and Snow met up. We're gonna have her birthday tomorrow, but already Kurt's making us fancy drinks. We're drinking beers here on the beach, hanging out. Emily's birthday is still tomorrow, but we have donned the Feliz Cumpleaños banner. <laughs> and you can see here, we got one cat trying to meet the other cats. Yeah, Graham wants to be friends. <laughs> Loving the beach this day, Graham. Dang! Thank you, sir! Whoa! A little top off from the Master Chef Kurt. What do they call a master bartender? What do they call? Kurt is the mixologist for the evening. Buenos dias, it's my birthday. Happy birthday. We're gonna go celebrate with Kurt and Snow over at a waterfall, Nayaka <laughs> waterfall. We're gonna be able to swim, so we'll have our bathing suits on. It's gonna be a fun day. Birthday, babe. Thanks. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Off to the waterfall. <laughs> So apparently here at the end, this waterfall is just public land. It costs $10 to hike Nayaka Waterfall or $35 to drive up. It's a four kilometer long hike. Really clear water. Sombrita! Are you at the waterfall? You know what I learned? What? This side allows dogs. Oh. So if you come here and you want to bring a dog, <laughs> definitely don't do the main road one. He said it's not that far of a road around to the other side. And it's a shorter walk. It's only two kilometers instead of two miles. <laughs> and, and you can bring your dog. <laughs> He's happy. So, so can we walk back that way? They go to a different way, so we're gonna you know, what I had to do is bring the dog up through the river. Wow, so now Emily's gonna join us on the much more scenic river route. And then here, it's better up here. Whoa, see, cause that part's crazy slick. Yeah, I definitely prefer this way to the road. <laughs> Look at this. I love this. across these vines. Whoa, look what we found! <laughs> we an ancient drone here, look at this! That part's popped open full of dirt. This rocks up here. Ooh, you're getting some out though. Yeah, I think this thing's been here a while. I don't think we have to feel bad about saving it. I think this is great that we're saving it. Less plastic in the 
and out there. Oh, there's the memory That's card. That's the memory card. So uh, there might be uh, some might, interest. It might be this. some epic drone footy. Uh, this part doesn't look even, huh? There it is. It's a little bit different than ours. This is the ultralight. Oh, that's the mini mini. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we found a drone today. <laughs> I can't believe we just found a drone. That is so <laughs> funny. Yeah, a little birthday surprise. <laughs> We figured out how I got down here and we're there. Time to cut up. have like some crazy thing that cats just need. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Buena chica. <laughs> You're my good boy. You're just a hungry boy lately, huh? And we're making a little popcorn as a snack. Head over to Kurt and Snow's, hang out. Ooh, I know, we can bring the drone and we can try and get the videos off of it to see what happened to this guy. Landed on the slipperiest rock. Oh my gosh, just land it. You're giving it. Ow, my finger. There we go. Oh, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. You got to do like a whole like three week camp. Oh, no, no. We must have run out of battery on the next shot or something because this is obviously a successful landing. Okay. Okay, so wow, who knows? We were right here. Oh, my gosh, share. Oh, I was looking at that vine. Oh, dude, watch out for the vine. I know because we were like, that's probably what it was. That vine is a drone killer. I stopped, I took a video of that vine. That vine is a drone killer. I mean, that vine. It's a drone killer. It's a drone vine. You know, remember that thick part? No, yeah, we remember. I remember the vine. Yeah, the, he's just above those vines that were going across the river. Looks like Philadelphia. Is this where you found the drone? It's well, a bit farther down. I don't exactly they remember where I found it. And that's how they lost it, and then later it fell out. Well, we've established this was May. And uh, right now, we're at least. It's too high in a tree, I think. What a pity! Oh, what a pity! Oh, the video is still going. I thought it would be at the end. Oh they got caught in there, so they know that oh. they know where it's at and they can't get to it. That happened it's to me. And I had my ladder and I got the ladder, but it had to fall down oh, right there. So later, like, Let's rewind wind, it a right? little bit and see if we can figure out where it was. Oh, so this is the final shot Goodbye. of the drone. Goodbye, drone. And I couldn't get to it because the was high. Unfortunately, taking a picture did not enlarge 
the drone from the tree and it was left. I'm so sorry. We, we did find the drone because we got kicked out of the place with our dog and we had to walk across the river. <laughs> That's the only reason you found the drone. It's the only reason. And it was a beautiful we walk. We found the drone. <laughs> your birthday present yeah. from Laker Liam. Yes, well, thank you so much. <laughs> hopefully we can find Laker Liam one day. Yeah, it'd be awesome and to send him this footage, right? At least. You. So you guys gotta help us find this guy whose drone this is. If you know a Lakers fan that lost a drone in Costa Rica in May, let us know. The drone is toast from the rainy season and also being caught in a vine, but the pictures and videos are still intact and we love to get them to their owner. Good morning. Today we're heading over here to this national park we woke up next to, Marino Ballena. Uh, it's like a whale. Ballena is whale national park and it has this crazy looking beach that looks like a big whale tail at low tide. So we're gonna go get the shot of that here. Low tide should be in an hour and we're right on track. So now we're gonna walk out on the whale tail. You have to come at low tide for it to be visible but this huge thing looks like a whale tail and there's no shade on this hike. I thought there was a forest out on it or something but yeah it only shows up at low tide. Yeah we got the sunscreen and it should be a pretty big spot here. A little bit of a river crossing. Water is flowing out right now. We're at low tide, but. Low tide, so there's no crocodiles or bull sharks. That's good. <laughs> I'd imagine at high tide, this is probably mostly a flow of water coming in. Well, this is such a beautiful beach out here at. Marino Ballena National Park. It was a little over six dollars for non-residents to get in and along with every other uh, national park you can only pay with credit card now. Scarlet Macaws! We're definitely out here on the whale tail part. Skinny, water each side, beautiful. And I are taking the water route. Period over there, crossing the Sahara Desert. Look at that guy, he's just training for Africa. Funny looking at all these shapes created by the bugs just crawling around. I think they're snails. Look at that romantic little bug drawing a heart. So Emily, this is the Pan American Highway? Yeah, this is the way to Argentina. Up here, we go over through Canada, down, Mexico, the chili pepper. Oh, oh no, natural disaster! <laughs> Pan American Highway was washed away <laughs> in an unfortunate accident at the whale tail today. <laughs> but little known fact about Kurt, he was a competitor. And look at this marathon he's running over here. Jeez. I can imagine him crossing the Serengeti, the Sahara, any vast desert and here now you're starting to really see that we're in the water on this side and the water is getting even closer over there I love sandy spits like this yeah reminds me of so many places the last one we saw was when we were up on that mirador of three countries yeah. Cosiguina Nicaragua way at the end of the hike all of a sudden opened up a view of one of these weird sandy spits quite a geographical phenomenon and I love geographically interesting places. You wanna catch up the Kurt? Yeah, let's do it. Drone battle? 
Dun 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 dun. Well, if it comes down to a drum battle, we better watch out because we're using the one we found yesterday. <laughs> shark. On the whale tail, there's also pretty cool little tide pools where we can see some little fish, definitely crabs. But as soon as I walked up to every tide pool, all the fish scatter. Ooh, there's some going. We're at the whale tail as low as the tide gets. So if we came at another time of the day, we would be able to walk out here or be able to see any of these tide pools. The water completely covers the entire area. Oh, I found a snail. Or a slug. I love tide pools. They're so much fun to find. I just, and the rocks here are pretty dry without algae, so they're not slippery, which is one of, it's just one of the reasons I sometimes don't like to go out on tide pools. But these rocks are pretty easy to walk on, which is super nice for exploring. I found a bunch of little sluggy boys that are cleaning up the algae on the rocks in these tide pools. It's so cool. Well, I made it to the end of the tail. I wasn't really planning on doing that. I just wanted to check out the little tide pools, but that's how 27 is going. Looks like Danny climbed on that little rock that's out there. sunscreen. <laughs> <That's clean. laughs> Once again found a dog where they say no dog. <laughs> and no the ranger says you can't even go over anywhere over here. He says this is dangerous. In his... All the way to the water over there. It was okay when you guys were there but now I can't go. Oh we should have a race. <laughs> I'm a crab race. Looking at the drone footy yesterday, we knew that guy's Airbnb would be off to the left and up in the hill. We're thinking it's right up in there. So we're gonna go knock on the door. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but we gotta find this drone owner. The droner. Seventy-five percent of coral reefs are threatened by contamination, overfishing, heating of the ocean. Two percent of the bottom of the ocean is covered by coral reefs, 0.2 percent. And twenty-five percent of animals are sustained by coral reefs. There it is, the van! Dang, good eye, Kurt, right by the vans. What a great time traveling with our friends. Coming to an end now. The final meal here. A little local soda recommended on iOverlander. Does smell good. Well, here we're having our last meal with Kurt and Snow. 
But it's been great traveling with you guys. Thanks for coming to meet up for Emily's birthday. Tons of fun. Tons of fun. <laughs> this is three out of four, or three out of five levels of peak. So Ooh. the salsa is medium, medium hot. <laughs> We're going to douse it. We're going to drink this whole bottle. <laughs> As always. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys in Panama. Yeah.